Hi, we're Bus Coast, and you're watching Boing Boing. Video. Did you make a conscious decision to sort of shift toward what you described as a grittier, heavier sound? Are you listening to different music? Playing together for all this time and uh, just being a band uh, for as long as we have, uh, we're just at a point where we're more comfortable. Any influence that we have, we're not afraid to try and incorporate it. Whereas before we kind of had this more limited sphere of influences on the other record. I think we're just more confident now as people and as musicians um, to take risks and do different things and not worry so much about is it going to be in that category of like what people think Best Coast sounds like and more like what we want Best Coast to sound like. I wanted to have another person playing guitar, um, which is where Joey came in. And so for me as a, like a, a singer where I'm not even playing guitar, I'm just being a front woman, which is I'm still trying to figure out like my moves and what I'm doing there, <laughs> but you know, we always found a way to make things work. Um, I think it's just a lot more fun to be a full-fledged kind of like rock band and mm -hmm. to be able to thrash a little bit. <laughs> 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 when it used to be just me and Bob, like with a mini disc player as our drummer, it was very scary.
You guys have played some great covers um, over the years, and I love a band that takes a song and transforms it into their own. I think the biggest cover we ever did was That's The Way Boys Are by the late Leslie Gore, who yeah, just passed just away. Passed away. Um, she was kind of, honestly, the reason why I started Best Coast. She talked about all of these personal experiences in a way that I had never heard anybody else do it before. Sadly, she recently passed away. I think that will always now mean something really special to us. I'm a massive Fleetwood Mac fan, particularly their Laurel Canyon cocaine trilogy of albums. <laughs> um, and you played, I think, Rhiannon, right? Yeah, we did a cover of Rhiannon, and then we also covered Storms. You know, Fleetwood Mac is both of our favorite bands. Really? And, yeah. yeah. We went to see them together. Yeah. He bought me a ticket for Christmas because he's such a good Unbelievable, friend. weren't they? Yeah. I cried the entire time. He couldn't look at me. My wife was crying, <laughs> too. I literally was, like, in tears wearing a Fleetwood Mac baseball They brought cap. it, didn't they? they yeah, sure did. it was the best incredible. Shows so I can't ask you to play a Fleetwood Mac song for me? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. It is, if, we had, if we Yeah, if we had a little bit Fair more enough. time to Fair practice. Enough. You might get mad have, at us after you yeah, do this. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> you, they don't ever cover that <laughs> song again.
I always thought it was interesting, your approach to writing. You guys probably live within a few miles of each other, but yet the writing is all done, you know, online, back and forth. I don't trust anybody, but I trust <laughs> Bob. Um, so much so that I write these very personal songs and I send them to him and I, I know that he's going to decipher my insane emails of things that don't make any sense and a normal human would read and be like, what is this girl talking about? And he just understands my language. <laughs> After I get like notes from Beth, I'll just kind of think about it and then like kind of trial and error. That's why it's good that we're not together when we're doing it because there's lots of different things I try that probably sound really terrible. A lot of that is just like when I'm working on demos, there's just like pedals all over my bed until I find the right sound for whatever song. Since I was a teenager, I've just been collecting effects pedals. Really? And, How many uh, do you have, Bob? I don't even know. This, like, his house is like a, a museum of musical instruments yeah, and like pedals. <clears throat> I've tried writing in like my proper music room, but I always just feel more comfortable in my bedroom with crap just like all over the place. That's something that I, at the end of the day, love about what I do is the fact that I just get to go out there and be my awkward, annoying self. And people for some reason like it. <laughs> people pay to see it. <laughs> well, I'm hoping you guys could uh, close with a uh, Oldie but goodie, probably from about, was it three years ago or so? Do you love me like you used to? Special treat from <laughs> Boing Boing. I wake up to the morning sun.